Hey guys, today I am going to get you started on your Photoshop pixel art. So for our pixel art, we are going to be using Photoshop. So we are going to create a new Photoshop file with the following settings. So go ahead and open up Photoshop. I'm going to be switching back between these two a lot. In fact, I might try to do this. That way I can see both of them at the same time. So it says you're going to create new. We're going to use print. We are going to name our document, your name, pixel art. Then we want our width to be 50 pixels. So yesterday we learned about pixels, so we're going to change our um, unit to pixels. And we want 50 by 50. So width, 50, height, 50. Our resolution needs to be 72 pixels. So this is pixels per inch, that's perfect, but we need to change this to 72. And that should be everything that we need. So make sure that your screen looks like mine. And then hit create. Now, this is teeny tiny, even if I make my screen big. So we have to zoom in a lot. You can zoom in by um, kind of pinching and pulling on your trackpad. Or you can come down here. Let's start with 2000. So if you come down here, you can zoom in that way too. Oops. Perfect. I'm going to scooch this back over. So it says zoom in about 700%. I think like 2000% is a lot easier to look at. We are going to select the pencil tool. We have to click and hold down the paintbrush tool to access the pencil tool though. So I'll make my screen big again. So we need the pencil tool. Yours probably looks like this right now. Gigantic paintbrush tool. Don't do that. <laughs> we need to click and hold. See how it has that arrow right there? That means that there are more tools hidden underneath of that. So we have to click and hold and go to pencil tool. We need um, to change the size of the pencil tool to one pixel. So the way that we look at the pencil tool settings is up here on this part right here. Mine's already like that because I was practicing. Yours is probably at like 15 or 10. So it looks probably like that. We need to go here, click this arrow, and change the size to 1 px. That means 1 pixel. Perfect. Then we need to click on the eraser tool and change the size of the eraser to 1 pencil and change the mode to pencil. So that was a lot of information. We're gonna scroll down here. The eraser tool will be one, two, three below your pencil tool. And if you hover over it, it'll say eraser. You can also hit E and it will take you to eraser. We need to come up here and change the size to one pixel. And then we also need to change our mode, make sure our mode is on pencil. Um, the reason that we do this is because, I'm gonna show you real quick. If we have our eraser mode, it would help if I was on the eraser. Um, if we have our eraser, mo eraser mode on brush, it will not erase our pencil mark all the way. So we need to make sure that's on pencil, that way it erases that entire pixel. So I'm gonna back that up to where I need to be. Um, so for this project, the pencil and the eraser tools are the only tools that you guys will need. So remember, we're making a pixel character. Um, 
our pencil is on one pixel per unit. So since our pencil is set to one pixel, we'll be able to draw that super, it'll be really convenient to draw our pixel character. Um, on the layer panel, double click the layer and click OK. This will allow you to edit your layer. It should already be like that, like you should already be allowed to draw on it, but if not, your layer panel is right down here. You're going to double click on your layer and it'll pop up this new layer box. I'm going to name it Pixel and then hit OK. If your layer panel is not showing, go to Window and go down to Layers and it should pop up. This is similar to Illustrator in that point of view to where you can hit Window and pull up the, uh, the layers and stuff like that that you need. Um, to set up a grid, so mine has a grid on it. Yours probably does not right now. Um, I'll change mine to where you cannot see my grid right now. Okay, so yours probably looks like this, actually. I have to make sure my layer is selected. So yours probably looks like this, no grid. Um, so on the menu bar, you're going to go to Photoshop, Preferences, Guides, Grids, and Slices. So... Photoshop, Preferences, Guides, Grids, and Slices, and then click it. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Okay, <laughs> so in the dialog box you're going to select the preferred color of the grid. We're looking at this part, so this is a screenshot to kind of help you guys see what I'm looking at. So we're going to select the color of the grid. I would choose black unless you are working with um, a lot of black color in your design. Um, in that case, I would choose maybe red, a color that will stand out against your pixel character. We're going to change the grid line to every one pixel and the subdivisions to one. Then we're going to hit OK. So what this means, we're going to come down here to grid. I changed my color to black. Grid line every one pixel. And I have one subdivision. So once your screen looks like this, hit OK. Now you notice you still can't see it yet. That's because we don't have our grid view on. So going back here, on the menu bar, select View, Show, Grid. This will put the grid on the canvas. So we need to come all the way up here to View, go down to Show, and go over and make sure the grid is checkmarked. And then you'll be able to zoom in and see those pixels. So that will help you um, determine where a pixel goes. Also, like, if I click on this box and I'm a little bit off, it might think I'm trying to click on this box down here. So when you are actually making your character, I would zoom in. That way you, like, are clicking on the right grid. Because if I go even a little bit over when I'm zoomed out, whoop, there we go it might click on the wrong part. So just make sure that you're zooming in when you're actually working on your pixel. So we're gonna be using the pencil and eraser tool only to draw the pixel art image of the character that you chose. So you have all of this space to draw your pixel character. Um, yeah, so for colors, to change your colors, you can change it by the swatches. Uh, you can click over here on color and change it that way. Or you can come over here and double click the foreground color and change it that way as well. If you do not see your swatches or color panel, you need to come up here and hit window, color, window, swatches, and it will pull those up over here.
if at any point it becomes like hidden you can come over here and click on those over here or this little arrow expands your panels out um yeah so then you guys can start filling in pixels on what you want your character to be Boop. oh that looks kind of creepy that's okay and there you go okay <laughs> um, let me know if you guys have any questions um, if you get confused um, make sure you pause the video and go back and review it um, if you get confused during the setup process um, have a good day guys